Good morning, gentlemen. My name is George Yant. I live at 717 25th Street, Fort Townsend. Um, you haven't seen me at your meetings for uh, several weeks because I've been in Norway on a bird watching trip and uh, also a cultural trip to learn more about Scandinavian folk dance music. Uh, <clears throat> our tour guide gave us a tremendous tour of, of Norway, particular Oslo, Moss, uh, the West Coast Islands, uh, and all the way up above the Arctic Circle to a town called Buda. Uh, I share this with you because I, I learned some tremendous things there. They have wonderful farms, big, beautiful farms. They ha uh, all the farmhouses are freshly painted, uh, wonderful to look at. Uh, those farms are bigger than the mansions that we talk about here in this country. There is wealth in farming in Norway. The thing that also was very striking that those that were in the valleys along the creeks and along the rivers had very large buffers on them. And uh, uh, they boast about the amount of fish that are in the streams and there are fishermen all up and down <laughs> Uh, these rivers, it was very impressive to see. Um, we toured by car. Uh, gas is $10.60 a gallon. Uh, the highways and roads were full of cars. Uh, very few stoplights, lots of roundabouts right on the highways and on the byways. And the reason for that, at least we were told, is that Instead of uh, parking cars in a parking lot behind a red light, it's easier if they're moving slowly that uh, they, can, they can move their traffic much faster through roundabouts. Yeah. Um, I want to change the subject a little bit. I was at the Straight Action Council meeting, our, our committee meeting uh, Thursday uh, in Port Angeles, and I would like to support uh, uh, Taryn uh, McLeod's comments with regard to reed canary grass. Uh, she spoke that this is uh, a considerable problem for, uh, for our creeks uh, because of temperature and it uh, sucks the oxygen right out of the rivers. Uh, I would hope that there would be some way that we can work with our local farmers to see if we can eradicate reed canary grass from Chimicum Creek. It is a major problem. Go to the Yarp Bridge, look upstream, and I uh, hope you can see the river. Good luck, gentlemen. I think you're doing a great job.